Hello and welcome to the screencast tutorial on using Expression Engine to edit the uh, Cineworks uh, website using your account information. So the first thing you want to go to is on the Cineworks homepage. As you see, uh, there is a login link right at the top above the search. So if you just click on that, that'll bring you to the login page. And that's where you just enter your username and password. And and if that's all working right, this you'll be brought to this screen. I'm not gonna remember this password right now, but you could if you wanted to. So this is the uh, the control panel home. Uh, home screen for uh, Expression Engine and you'll see up here you have several tabs and these are the the three tabs that we're gonna be concerned with today as a regular member these are the only ones you'll see um, so the publish is where you'll actually create content and uh, you can create your films under that tab edit would uh, allow you to actually edit any content that you've created and my account will be, get you into your profile your bios and your settings for expression engine uh, so if you look at um, the home page you'll notice right now I don't have any web blog entries which are which would show up here or most recent entries so if, if you just added a couple of films they probably would sh they would show up on this list so that's a, a quick way to, to get to your uh, content um, otherwise if you didn't see anything there it probably would tell you like this there are currently no web blog entries so uh, what we're gonna start with now is to actually go and edit uh, my account so if you click on my account You'll be brought to this uh, summary screen, which will just tell you, you know, your email address, your join date, last visit, different stats, how many weight entries you have. Um, where we are interested in most is personal settings. This is where all your personal info would be stored. So if I go to edit profile, this would allow me to enter in my name and bio as well as a link to my website if I have one. So um, you can type in here, uh, this is my bio. And this is a rich text editor. As you can see from the controls, it's just like uh, Word or OpenOffice, any of the text editors that you're used to working with you can uh, you can do any kind of styling you can you know set headers and stuff you could set it to a header you could uh, change that back to a paragraph if you wanted to add a link you could add a link you will get a little link you type the link address in there so let's say http colon slash slash my site dot com slash link insert and now you have a link in your bio and this would apply to any of the um, fields with rich text uh, enabled uh, which you'll see uh, when we actually add a page so uh, first name Peter Aver and if I, uh, I click update, it says profile updated, which is good. So that's going to be my uh, my bio. Now, use other um, things. If you want to upload a photo of yourself, uh, which will show up actually in your um, in your profile page, you can just upload it here and. Um, Let's see, I chose a picture and uh, let's upload that and see what we got. Ooh, I got an error. Let's see what I got. If I chose the right 
Well, let's try a JPEG. That should work. Upload photo. So now you see the photo is attached to my profile. Um, username and password. This is where you're going to change if you wanted to have um, a new uh, username to log in. A screen name is what actually displays uh, in the um, expression engine for to identify you to other uh, people. So uh, like in the uh, various uh, places, I'll show you where that shows up later. And you can change your password here. So you'd enter your new password, confirm it, and put in your new one, update that. So I'm not going to update that because this is just my test account right now. So the next thing you want to do is let's go back to the control panel. Home. So actually, you saw the screen name before. That screen name will show up here when it says current user. So let's create a film page, right? So publish member films. And this is bringing you to the form where you do all the magic of uh, entering your film info. So my great film. Um, you can enter any details. Let's say uh, it's a 35 millimeter uh, 1989. Um, uh, how many minutes? Uh, 90 minutes. Uh, description, again, this is the rich text editor, so you can do anything you want in here. Enter all the info about your film. Um, there's a few other fields. Uh, if you want to put info about your crew, it'll sh this is the place to do it. If you want to open, uh, I mean, upload a, a picture to describe your, to show as the poster image for your film, you can do that there. Same process as what we did for uh, the bio picture. Um, if you have any festival information, go in there. If you have um, a video uh, embed uh, from YouTube or Vimeo or wherever, you can grab the embed code that they those sites give you and that HTML, you can just paste it right in here. Uh, and that'll show up on your film page. So you can have an embedded video. Um, uh, film links here again uh, you can add a link name and you just link it up using that link tool in the rich text editor um, my site.com link dot html Obviously, it would be something a little more interesting than that, but that is the gist of it. And uh, the last thing you'll see on the main part of this form is those uh, a bunch of uh, fields for other members. Now, if if there's another CineWorks member who helped uh, work on this film and was part of the crew, cast or crew, you could actually associate them with this film too by by uh, selecting them from this drop down. So. Say Brooke Smith was in this film. Um, Jack Beatty or Cesar Rodriguez. So we added three members. So that way, in the search, uh, if people are searching for films by a certain member, that would it allow them to show up under this film as well as you. Uh, okay, so then. Um, that's all under the main tab here, publish form. So the next thing you want to look at is the date tab, which will allow you to, which will just basically pop up uh, a bunch of calendar here uh, above your form. And that'll allow you to set the date that your film was created. So in, in this, it'll be the entry date. So let's say if my um, film was, in 2005, you just go back through the months until till then, 
we won't go back that far. But uh, let's say March 2008, March 10th. So then it'll update that field. And then that will be the date of this film's entry. So which will correspond to the year that the film, the date, release date of the film. Okay, so um, categories. This is important. If you've received assistance from the production fund, you want to check that off here. So if you were, were got money from the production fund or other assistance, you would check that off. Um, other options. Uh, the only other option you're going to see is the author. Now, you, normally you should see yourself as the author by default. But let's say for for some reason you actually wanted to put in a film for somebody else. Well, you could technically do that. You just select them from the list. But be aware that if you do that, you will not be able to edit the film afterwards. It, only the person who has authored the film can edit it. So you want to make sure that your name is selected under author. And then when you're done, you just hit the old submit button. Oh, my, my mouse uh, lost uh, something there. Uh, if I hit the submit button, I'm not going to do it because this is a dummy content. I don't actually want to enter it. Or actually, I will. What the hell? I can delete it after. Submit. And you'll get a thing saying, OK, new entry submitted, and it'll show you all the content of that uh, film. It doesn't look like much because we didn't enter everything. Uh, but now, if you go to your home screen, you'll see you have my great film as a film. So uh, then you could uh, click on that to edit the film and you'd be brought back to your form. And again, if you wanted to, if you didn't see, this only stores, I think, uh, 10 latest entries. So if for, if for some reason you had more than 10, you could actually go and look for it under the Edit tab. And you'll be brought to a form which would list all the films. Um, so you can see that uh, there's only one. So I just click on that film and we edit it again and if we go back I'll show you another feature where you could um, could actually c completely copy an entry by using this clone feature so if I uh, clicked on clone let's say you had a lot of details that were the same and you just wanted to make a copy of it you hit clone and basically it would bring up this the same info from your film and then you just change uh, uh, change the info to whatever you wanted. And if I hit submit now, it'll actually um, create a new um, new film with this with the same info, except for what I changed. Uh, so if we go to the edit tab. Now you'll see we have two films. And if, if you wanted to delete any of your films, you just go and select the, check them off. Or you could, if you wanted to delete all of them, in this case, you could check the top of the column to select all. And in this little drop down, you just uh, say delete selected and hit submit. And it'll ask you if you want. Are you sure you want to delete these entries? Well, in my case, we do because they're dummy entries. So I will delete them. And there you go. That's uh, that's a quick tour of uh, Expression Engine for Cineworks.